and welcome to a review of a soft vinyl figure. Today we're taking a look at one of the Crown Shinchan products. I really wish that they'll start releasing SH Figure Arts, you know, for Crown Shinchan, but until then, this is what we've got. And what we've got here is one of the creatures from one of the shows or movies in the world of Crayon Shinchan. One of his most favorite shows is, of course, Action Kamen, which is a parody of Ultraman and Kamen Rider and other tokusatsu heroes. One of the second shows that he likes is of course uh, Gundam Robo which is a parody of you know Gundam, Majinza and all that other kind of robot stuff. And here we have a third creature that is a parody of course of Godzilla and other giant kaiju monster movies. These are all very famous genres in Japan. I remember first seeing this particular monster in one of the Crown Shinjian movies where a spirit, an alien spirit uh, takes over the body of this creature, so you got this little Godzilla-ish toy just walking around talking to Crayon Shin-chan. And so this thing is sold just in the bag like this. Uh, when I got it, it was in this bag. This top was like taped together and it was in bubble wrap inside the cardboard box. So I just cut the tape on both sides and peel the little stickiness since I have the bag here without destroying everything. And on the back here, you just got some standard uh, you know, warnings and stuff, as well as the sticker of the animation studio that does Crayon Shin Chan well, series. And this is what we have here. Uh, this is not as soft as you might think it would be. It's quite hard. So that's that's good. Um, it's not your regular soft final figures. This is quite thick, as you'll see in a moment. So you see, I'm, I'm pushing really hard. You can still push it a little bit, but not so much. And these smaller areas, yeah, these are pretty rock solid, even though this is still just uh, blow molded. Is that what they what they call it? you know? It's like glass bottles. You stick it in, uh, you stick the material into a mold, and then you blow air into it, and then it expands to the you know the shape of the mold. So blow molding, I think that's what it's called. Just like you know, glass bottles and other soft final toys and other trans uh, hollow out toys and such. So he, he has a few bits of articulation. His head can turn quite stiff. Arms up and down, so that's kind of cool. And feet up and back. Now I did see a review of someone saying that his uh, his figure has one slightly shorter leg, and mine does not. So he he must have a defect. Um, so. That's something I guess could happen. Uh, made in China, lots of numbers there, whatever. And of course, the biggest gimmick of this guy is the butt, which can come off very easily. Now, the rest of the figure is so hard that I'm worried that if I pop one of these arms off, it just won't go back on. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, but that's one of the things that with regular soft final stuff, uh, they're very thin, so, that, so they are very soft, and you can easily pull things off on and off with them if you need to. In fact, one of my recent videos, customizing uh, Kamara the Kabuki, onto the uh, SH Figure Arts figure, you can check out the video and one of the links below on my channel where I use a soft final figure to adapt into SH Figure Arts. So you can see here, this is very thick material, a bit of rough cutting inside, but that's fine. You've just got this really pink butt. <laughs> is that the right? No, that's the wrong way around. This way is the right way around. Peach. <laughs> so there we go, that's that's it that's me. And you got some little bit of paint details, darker green there. Some white teeth, yellow eyes, those are painted quite well. And um, this thing is like sort of aggressive, angry, but at the same time really cute. Some molded details and scales like Godzilla would have. And that's that's it with him really. And in case you're curious, here's how big he is compared to Godzilla uh, SH Monster Arts. This is the original Godzilla, you know, the 1954 version from the first ever black and white movie, my favorite Godzilla movie, the best Godzilla movie. And there he is. So he's definitely not to scare. You have one of some of the Ultramans. Ultraman's gonna be about this tall. Now Ultra Axe are a little bit taller, so it's gonna be around there. So they can sort of in scale. Like if you can just see this sort of like like a chubby Godzilla, he, he's a little bit bigger than the other stuff, then yeah. And with the uh, regular Gundam model kits, they're also gonna be about this Godzilla size. So, and of course, SH Figure Arts are going to be around his height as well. I think it's going to be a little bit taller, but they're all going to be shorter than him. So, he might fit quite well with, I guess, Marvel Legends or you know, uh, Marvel Selects, you know, the bigger kind of toy stuff. So, you have any of the big robos or whatever characters in those toy lines, they'll fit quite well. Oh, and uh, just, just because I have it lying here next to me, quite dusty. Here's a soft final of X8 level 
one. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, oh yeah, he'll definitely fit in scale with the uh, Legend Rider uh, series of Soft Final stuff. And I guess the Ultraman's in the Soft Final line as well. You know. mm. So yes, it's uh, for the price I paid for it, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I, I just want to encourage Bandai to make more Crayon Shin-chan products and maybe some of the more expensive and high-end lines. That would be great. And I have pre-ordered the Action Carmen one. I look forward to picking that up. It comes with like an extra gold card from one of the movies. But otherwise, it's essentially just another soft final figure in the, in the box. So if you like Crayon Shin-chan, there's still a chance to order that right now for the Action Carmen. Uh, as of the uh, uploading of this video, so if you like what you see here, you like Crayon Shin Chan, then definitely consider picking that up before the pre-orders close. I think it's going to close very soon. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.